How to create this T-shaped part in Fusion 360, coming up. Hey, Tyler Beck with Tech and Espresso. Let's jump into this tutorial. All right, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is start sketch, create that sketch by selecting sketch and then select your front plane. We're going to be using the origin as our center. And this helps because it keeps all of our planes kind of in the middle of what we're building. So I'm sketching a circle. I'm going to use D for smart dimension and place a dimension and we'll put in 70 and I'm in millimeters. Remember uh, your dimensions or units live over in the document settings. So you can modify that real quick, change that to millimeters if you want to follow along. So what I want to do is extrude this solid. We're going to do all the solids first and this is 150. Great. Because I have a lot of cuts that intersect each other, I'm going to do all the cuts later. A little tip there. And next I want to do is put a plane, maybe um, offset from this face a little bit and a plane from this. So how do we create a brand new plane? Come up to construct and we're using an offset plane. We're using one just like this face and coming in a certain distance. So we can type in that value. Let's say that it's 25. And then what we're going to do is sketch on that brand new plane and select the plane, hit sketch. I'm going to sketch a circle centered off the same center. And what I've got here is I want to do an extrude. It's not going to hurt anything if I actually just extrude the whole thing. Make sure instead of cut that you're doing a join. So it's adding new geometry. That's going to work great. And I need to set the distance or thickness and I'm going to do negative 10 since it's coming at us. Negative 10 looks great. And so we want to achieve the same thing uh, by putting a plane over on the, the other side. If you come down to your design history tree, you can find those features that you've made. By double clicking, I can see that it's 25. So a nice reminder that that distance is there. It'd be smart once we're comfortable with equations or parameters to use parameters to drive it so they'd always be equal. But for simplicity, we'll just keep this at a simple dimension. So I'm going to type in the 25 going that direction and then do the exact same thing. I'll sketch a circle this time and center it off the same center, drag and drop it, place a smart dimension D and then let's do that same. Okay, so I want to place this circle, but it looks like I need to match it to this dimension. When I go find that sketch, there it is, right click edit sketch, I messed up. I forgot to place a dimension. So let's put one in there. Uh, we'll say that it's 95 so that it's fully defined and it's behaving how I want it to. And we can edit it by double clicking and changing that to any new value if we need to. So make sure that that's 95. Okay, so now that we know that this, if we select this edge, it says that it's a radius of 47.5. Let's do a diameter. Let's do a diameter of 95. Hit OK, and then we're going to extrude this just the same way. Coming back this way, make sure that it's joined, so it's joining the same geometry, and we want it to be. We want this to be a value of 10 millimeters. There we go. So we're almost done. Okay, so now for the T shape, let's create a plane off in space. So if I find my planes, offset plane, we're going to go just off of what I believe to be the right plane, and we're gonna offset it a value of 150, off in space. Now we have this new plane. Remember that these are infinite. Just because it's uh, small and off to the side, that doesn't matter. These are just representations. Planes go forever. So select that plane, hit sketch, and then let's sketch a circle that lines up in the middle. I don't have anything showing me where the center of our part is. So what I like to do is sketch reference geometry. I'm going to sketch a line going across, select it and hit X for uh, to turn it to construction. And what I want to do is put this point to the midpoint of this line. Select both and then right click and find midpoint and it drops it right on the midpoint. I love that trick, that works really nice. And then we can drag on a diameter. 
Now, what was the diameter of this edge? Simply click the edge, it should tell you. That's the radius, so the diameter is double that. So I'm gonna say the same thing, 70. And we'll extrude until it hits. We don't wanna do a cut. Instead, we're gonna be doing a join. So it's adding geometry and fusing it together. And there's our extrude. Terrific. Okay, so we're almost done. Okay, next. So what we want to do is do some holes going through and we'll match the diameters. So I'm going to select this face, sketch a circle, connect it right to the same center, drag in a diameter. This time it's going to be 35. And this hole can go all the way through. Okay, if you're having trouble selecting something, a new trick for you, simply click and hold with your left click. And then it'll give you a series of different options, the face, the different profiles. So I'm selecting this inner profile. We're going all the way through with a cut. So instead of this distance, I'm gonna do all, so it's intelligent. It knows to cut it all the way out. Even if this uh, pipe were to change and get longer, I know that I want the cut to keep solving. Okay, so over here, I'm gonna sketch a new sketch on this face, do a circle, centered, extrude. Before I do, don't forget that diameter. What was my diameter over here? I can't remember, click on it. It's 35 millimeter diameter, double click, 35. Okay, so now let's do the depth of this cut and I know that I want it to be 150 to match up with the distance of that pipe. So we're cutting out 150. Okay, so now that we have the cutout, let's do a quick cross section just to understand. Let's investigate this a little bit, make sure this looks right. So if we go down to inspect and find section, what I'd like to find is this top plane and just kind of chop this in half with an x-ray tool. How's that look? That's looking great. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're learning Fusion 360, be sure to check out my other tutorials if you're learning to 3D print. Also hit that subscribe button so you get notified when new tutorials come out. Hit the other buttons, the like, leave a comment. If you like the video, tell me why, what you wanna learn. If you didn't like it, let me know. See you in the next video.